to see energy vibration reading for the Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign I want to call in the angels of love um, to come in for um, the love reading Archangel Raphael all the angel goddesses of love gods of love to come in for the Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign it is the month of October this is the Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon reading um, love reading for the month of October so let's go in and see what's coming out okay I'm seeing two people um, two set of people are going to be um, affected and these are the young entrepreneur and the blonde females okay so I'm seeing this as the center and these are the people who are going to be deeply affected in love however way a blonde female and um, an entrepreneur person okay so um, you know and this is it because each and every one of us are governed by different star system and um, energy vibration so what is happening and what is transpiring and what the universe is going to be bringing out is all about for you guys okay so let's see what is surrounding you guys because there is the energy of uh, um, transition that is going to be coming out for you guys okay so let's see what you're coming in some of you are definitely having family some of you are going to get pregnant some of you are definitely going to be get pregnant um, there is no question about that I'm saying some of you blend women are being controlled in a relationship because it has to do with love and money so there are control issues for some of you blonde female in love um, because there are some control issues I'm seeing entrepreneurial men are having issues okay and this is for the Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign the mature women are here and they could be having marital affairs with um, younger men um, that is coming up I'm seeing past life relationship um, definitely past life relationship is coming in and these and I'm seeing the energy of the young men now a lot of communication this this month in love is going to be a lot of communication for you Aquarians whatever is happening I'm seeing really a lot of communications coming in so um, definitely you are going to be seeing that communication is going to be the key of what is transpiring for you guys okay so I'm seeing family um, some of you blondes um, or having control issues okay and it has to do with um, your relationship I'm seeing some of you are controlled um, by your partner because of money okay um, this energy falls out and it has to do with the blondes and the center and um, it has to be doing with the blondes pay attention to the red flags um, the signs or caution in you pay attention to the red flags the signs are caution in you so some of you um, could be in relationship you men um, you entrepreneur men could be in relationship and uh, you know pay attention to the red sign because it's either the person is not being honest in this relationship this relationship has to do with control issues um, pay attention to those um, sign and pay attention that someone could be just in a relationship for the money okay someone could be just be in a relationship only for money so you got to be aware and you got to be on top of the ball so it came out and it fell out so it's like you blonde ladies and you entrepreneur men are being um, alert to this uh, that someone could be just in a relationship just for financial stability check out the red flags I'm seeing wedding coming up and I'm seeing a lot of people are going to be deciding to get married um, some of you unexpectedly you're going to be asked to be um, to be um, in a marriage okay and whatever the reason is and the situation is I think that there is true love that is coming from this person so some of you could be offered 
uh, or ask the ends of marriage okay and this is going to be good because I'm seeing that people wants to build a family with you okay there are people out there that is going to be asked at the ends of marriage some of you um, ladies uh, um, who are depressed could be that you're getting divorced from your husband and you're very depressed with this situation and this issue so that is coming up love yourself first whatever the situation is I'm seeing good friendships are going to be building I'm seeing an offer of um, um, uh, you know connecting with someone but whoever you're connecting with and whatever the situation is love yourself first no matter what is going on around you guys just love yourself first because this is this is going to be coming up as uh, there's issue with money in relationships okay and friendship and um, loving yourself first is like have respect for yourself okay um, your self-respect makes you more romantic and attractive okay so whatever um, is transpiring in your world I'm seeing that universal angels and guides are saying love yourself first okay and um, whatever it is it has to do with look at the red flags so if you're in a relationship if you're seeing someone if you realize that this person is uh, only in the relationship for money or you know someone you have you have a friendship with someone love yourself first let go of control issues I'm seeing control issues coming up for a lot a lot of um, a lot of you uh, Aquarians um, allow a situation to, to, to work out okay um, there is control issues that is coming up for the women 45 years and older or 30 and older some is 30 and older but it's more the mature women 45 years and older I'm seeing let go of control issues let the situation um, unfold naturally so whatever is transpiring I'm saying that some of you um, mature women are having some control issue it could be that you're seeing someone um, younger than yourself and you're having some control issue whatever the issue is whatever the situation is I'm seeing that you're having some control issue and they're saying let go of this control issue whatever the issue is whatever the situation is let go of it okay then we have get to know each other and um, you know as you reveal your innermost self so get to know each other because I'm seeing a lot of you dating and um, and they're saying you know before you jump in bed or before you jump in this relationship um, get to know the other person because I'm seeing a lot of dating going on I'm seeing people from the past coming back I'm seeing the mature women um, dating younger men and uh, um, this is really coming up but you mature women need to let go of uh, the control issues okay because there's a lot unrequired love is coming up for some of you now you young men um, you young men um, or having unrequired love okay so you young men is um, really having unrequired love and uh, um, this is men between the ages of 18 and um, 35 um, you're having unrequired love there's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship al al alive and that's why control issues comes up so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring um, with these control issues that is coming up um, you guys really need to know the power of love and I think that this is what is really transpiring and what is really happening is because sometimes we're not aware of the power of love what that can do and whenever um, we are having control issues it is better not to get in a relationship get in a relationship when you know that you don't really need to have control issue because you trust this person and you know let go and let God and and people always say how do you do that how do you let go and let God there is definitely um, rest and reconsider so some of you who are married or having issues in your marriage and uh, um, the issues is created by um, control um, you know whatever is transpired they're saying take some time before you make a decision okay 
so it, it is coming up for the ladies who are deciding to divorce their husband uh, and, and um, or the men or women or deciding to end their marriage they want you before you make this decision to get some rest and rejuvenate before you make this decision because you might be making a decision just because uh, um, you're tired because you're tired of the fighting because you're tired of uh, not understanding what is transpiring and they're saying take some rest because sometimes when we're tired um, or we our relationship affect us okay the healing begins but not for some of you um, because you're not paying attention okay it's as if a healing wants to come true but it's not coming true because you're not paying attention you could be having control issues with an issue with a situation and it's going to affect you young ladies okay and because you're having this control issue some of you could be want to get married and uh, it, it's you're kind of pushing it and like the person doesn't want to do it just let go let go let go sometimes there's a reason why and some of you are having issues with money the relationship some of you see it's it's, it's all about money it's all about not understanding that love is just a simple thing okay it's just it's just that you need to understand that love is just a simple thing there is a lot of you that need to reconsider the um, step before you start a relationship or end a relationship. You marriage people, you need to reconsider what is going on around you before you make a decision. You ladies, young ladies, uh, you know, check out the red flags. And red flags is as if uh, you're texting the sky, the sky is not answering, um, or you know, vice versa, and they're not answering. There is something else going on. There is definitely something else going on. Okay, some of you need to. Um, use your third eye chakra this is coming up where it's as if opens your eyes to what is going on okay open your eyes to what is going on you guys have three times six open your eyes to what is going on because some of you are trying to play as a uh, play a situation as if you know that something is a little bit off but you're trying to play around it okay Choose your battle wisely because some of you I'm seeing want to go in battle and especially you young mature women. I'm seeing that you want to go in battle with a young man, a young person that you're seeing. Don't do it because, you know, the thing about it is that um, whenever you're older um, and you get into these um, relationships that people are younger, you know, it's bound that they want to be connected to their own gameplay okay a lot of you your crown chakra is as if things you're going to be on on point with relationship you're going to be seeing the truth about your partner you're going to be seeing because you have the third eye and you have the crown chakra coming up and what that is doing and there is so much six that is happening for you guys what that is doing is that there is something about your relationship you're kind of closing yourself off to and it's as if the universe is saying wake up and look at this you know it's as if the wake the, the universe is saying there's so much red flags you know the, there is so much red flags and you're not looking at that and the universe wants you to open your eyes and see that something is kind of off okay even if you're trying to look beyond the illusion there is just something that is kind of off and they want you to wake up and open up your eyes some of you are you know um, forget what it is to love and it's all about materialistic things and it's as if you need to heal that about you whatever the situation whatever it's coming up it's as if you you need to heal that about you because love is the most beautiful things so marriage came up again and this is so wonderful and so powerful marriage came up again so a lot of you are going to be asked the ends of marriage a lot of you are going to be realizing um, that maybe marriage is the best thing for me a lot of you before you um, decide to end your marriage reconsider that is coming up again and that is so beautiful reconsider before you start to end up your marriage 
some of you um, a gift an unexpected gift from your partner is going to be coming in some of you are holding on on your money because it's as if your partner wants to drain you some of you could be finding out that your partner is holding on on some money saying that they don't have any money and holding on on this money it could be your husband or wife or, but whatever it is I'm seeing that some of you um, it's as if uh, the universe is saying you know save your money I'm seeing that some of you are going to be working on your marriage which is very good I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be starting to focus on um, the love in the marriage and not what is outside the marriage okay so I'm seeing that really coming up now some of you are dealing with um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person and I'm seeing that you're going to decide to end this relationship um, or some of you are going to be ending it some of you are going to decide to go in a relationship with this person whatever as uh, whatever happened choose yourself first love yourself first okay so I'm seeing some of you really going to be um, choosing to go in a relationship with this person but this is if the universe is saying you know love yourself first because this person is only in a relationship for money and not for love so this is coming up some of you are going to be connecting to um, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and um, you know it's all about love for them it's all about the simplest thing in life and they're coming from a good place they're coming from a good art space and they're coming in and all they want is simply love nothing more nothing less so if you're you know connecting with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn all they need is just simply love nothing more nothing less I'm seeing some of you are going to decide to get married to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and I you know it's going to be good if this person asks you the answer of marriage it's going to be good It's someone who you have known in past lifetime so it's really going to be good I'm seeing some of you need to make a decision between two persons I'm seeing some of you someone is coming back from the past and you're deciding whether or not you should get involved with this person whoever this person is that is coming back from the past this person uh, could be a Capricorn um, this person could have been someone you have known in past lifetimes and some of you need to heal this relationship it's not ill. the person is coming back and the relationship needs to be ill some of you could be seeing red flags in a relationship and you're trying to decide whether or not you want to go further okay because there are red flags coming up in a relationship okay and then we have some of you um, just stepping back from a relationship and taking some time because you realize that the relationship was only based on financial uh, on money it's as if you found out that uh, there was no love it was all about money okay you realize that the relationship that you were in with someone whoever this person is they were only in the relationship for money and not for love and you need you're going to be taking time out from your relationship to understand what really has transpired and to realize that however way you have attracted this person in your life that you are going to be re repelling this person out of your life because you're realizing that your relationship was only based uh, on the base on um, money okay now um, choose your battle wisely comes up and some of you see the truth about a relationship okay some of you um, see the truth and you're going to be letting go so you mature women who are in a relationship with younger men um, you're going to be letting go this relationship because I'm seeing that you're seeing the truth about this relationship somehow something became very clear in the month of October about this relationship and you're going to be letting go of the relationship you're going to decide I'm choosing myself because this person is only in the relationship to see um, what they can accomplish or what they can um, receive from out of this relationship and you're not going to be having any battles you're just going to be walking away from this relationship because you realize 
what what this person is only in the relationship because um, they were looking for success financial stability that sort of a thing and you're going to decide to let go of this relationship okay now some of you could be re um, connecting with a Leo um, that's what I'm seeing coming up some of you could be reconnecting with a Leo um, some of you are going to be re realizing that this Leo was meant to be that you and this Leo was meant to be it's as if all of a sudden you realize that uh, this Leah and I was meant to be some of you are going to decide to go back to a past love because this person is going to be returning in your life now whoever this person is whether it's a Leo or this past love that is um, coming back in your life um, it's going to be a time that is going to be awaken you to it's as if you're going to be seeing beyond the illusions and realizing that this person have been always been in front of you and weren't aware that this person is the love of your life okay so it's as if you are now finally realizing uh, who this person is and um, you're going to be um, moving forward with this person on a very very positive note because um, you're seeing the expression of situations that is happening where this person could be someone who you have known in past lifetime that some of you could be meeting or is about to meet or have known them for quite some time and is going to be realizing that this person is the love of your life okay so this is going to be good then um, when we look at uh, um, um, the, the, the energy of the crown chakra is going to be opening and some of you are going to be realizing that a relationship that you're in is unrequired love and when they say unrequired love is that this person or the situation this relationship um, <laughs> brings a lot of burdens um, it's as if your spirit guides create these burdens or these issues and these situations so that um, the relationship doesn't go like a lot of conflicts a lot of issues a lot of situation and it's because it wasn't meant to be and it could be that some of you are connecting with um, a fire sign person and it is as if it is from one thing to another okay and it has to do with an Sagittarius okay so some of you could be connecting with a Sagittarius um, and it's unrequired love I mean um, it's not meant to be okay whatever is transpiring between you and this person it was meant to be and there is and that is the reason why there is just so much undesirableness that is happening because it wasn't meant to be okay so um, there is it, it, it is not someone you need to let go of this person so if you deal with a Sagittarian and uh, you're realizing that there's so much issue so much conflicts it is uh, unrequired love um, so this is why so many issues and situations is coming up is because it is definitely unrequired love and this is the reason why all of this is uh, kind of happening and transpiring in your world okay so wow a lot of you are going to be um, seeing the truth about people and situations in your relationship okay whatever is transpiring I'm seeing a lot of people seeing the truth about their relationship a truth about people in their relationship and because of that you're going to be understanding that it is time for some of you to make decision whether or not you're going to be going forward um, some of you are going to be realizing that you were connected to um, 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 a fire sign person and an older fire sign person, and you're going to decide that I'm going to choose myself and love myself more and make a decision whether or not you stay in a relationship or you're going to be moving out of this relationship, and this is going to be good. Okay, so 
really wonderful um, really wonderful um, positive alignments of energies I want to say thank you so much namaste until next time Thank you.